Tech out today. I'm going to be showing you guys uh, my home bridge setup. And what this is is it's a program, not a program. It's kind of like a mini server that runs. Um, you can run it on a computer, kind of in the background. I do have mine running on a Raspberry Pi though. This I think supports any Raspberry Pi. Um, I do recommend running it on a little bit uh, newer one though, just because of memory and stuff like that. Depending on how many plugins you're going to have and how much activity, how much activity you're going to have on yours. Um, I believe mine is a Raspberry Pi 3 or 3B, one of the two. Um, so I have it running on that. It's been running here for five days, almost six days now. Um, and I haven't had to restart it or do anything like that. Everything has just been running fine. No issues. Um, and I'm going to show you what it is, how, it, how you set it up. It's very, very easy to set up. Um, if you know anything about flashing a image to a Raspberry Pi, that's really all you need to know how to do. Everything else um, is just going to show up in here um, once you log into it. Um, so to add it to HomeKit, you just scan this QR code or enter the setup code right here. It's going to add it like a regular HomeKit bridge. Um, so as far as doing HomeKit setup, that's all you have to do. Once this is added to HomeKit, any plugins you install and any devices um, that you add through those plugins are automatically going to show up in HomeKit. Um, so my plugins, I have um, a few different ones. I've got uh, one for my Ring doorbell. Um, one for my Ring or my Roku TV, uh, some outlets I have. Arlo right now is only supporting like changing the mode of the base station, like home, away, that kind of stuff. You can't actually view the cameras right now. I think that's something the, the developer of this plugin is working on, um, but it's not available yet. I have a Wemo plugin for my Wemo light switch. Uh, the config UI is just the UI you see on here that comes with it. Uh, Unify network support that's not doing anything right now and homebridge Pi just shows the temperature of my Pi's CPU on HomeKit, like a kind of like a thermostat um, or a sensor it just shows up on the top and shows the temperature of the CPU um, so those are the plugins I have you can also go to accessories right here and you can control stuff like if I hit office on it turns my office outlet on uh, for my light and then all these are in HomeKit as well um, so I can control my TCL Roku TV, I can power it on, off, change the input. Um, I can view my video doorbell. Um, it just shows up like a regular HomeKit supported uh, camera or video doorbell. The only thing it doesn't support right now since HomeBridge um, isn't HomeKit certified. It does not allow you to do the uh, recording that's available in HomeKit now. Um, so since this just shows, shows up as a non-certified hub, none of that kind of stuff is available. So for the Ring doorbell, you can talk through it, you can hear it. Um, you can see it obviously, you just can't view previous recordings, so you still do need the Ring app for that if you want to go back and look at a recording. Um, but you do get notifications, you do get um, doorbell rings and that kind of stuff, motion detection. You can you can customize that in HomeKit just like you can for any other HomeKit supported device. Um, you can make it so it only gives you notifications when you're not home, or you can turn off motion notifications and only get doorbell notifications. All that kind of stuff works as normal. Um, and then everything else, it just it works like a HomeKit device, um, so it, it's real nice. Um, the plugins are very easy to install. You just search like if you had a uh, if you had a Ring doorbell, you just search Ring. Um, and here you can see there's two different ones. Um, I'm using this one right here. It's a verified one. You just hit install right here. It downloads it and installs it, and it'll automatically detect your doorbell. You do have to log into your Ring account or your Arlo account for some of these. But things that are just um, Wi-Fi connected, like the Wemo, it automatically detects those on your network um, when this starts up and, and you're good to go. There's no additional setup. It'll just pop up in your HomeKit. Um, and you can customize the rooms and your layout on HomeKit and everything on there. So very, very simple. Very nice if you have some things that don't support HomeKit and you want to be able to use HomeKit and just have all your stuff together still. Um, there's some other stuff in here I want to try. Um, I don't have the products yet, like Unify cameras and the Unify G4 doorbell that is supported in here. Um, so I'll be checking those out a little bit later, hopefully. But that's my home kits or my home bridge setup right now. Um, been running great on my Raspberry Pi. You can set this up for about fifty dollars, depending on how much you have to pay for the the Raspberry Pi. But everything else is free. Home bridge is free. There's no subscription, nothing like that. Um, you literally just need a Raspberry Pi or a computer to run it in the background. I'm Colin with Tech Out. If you have any questions about my setup, leave them down in the comments section below, and I will answer those as quickly as I can.